Indiana drivers are getting hit with higher gas taxes just in time for the holiday weekend. While the national average for price of the national average price rather for a gallon of gas goes down, Indiana just raised state taxes to 62 cents per gallon. Tonight, Rachel Krause looks into where that money goes and how Hoosiers are coping. The 4th of July holiday weekend is here, but with gas prices so high, few people feel like celebrating. Ridiculous. I, I don't go anywhere anymore. Um, kids don't like to hear it. Sorry, can't go. I usually help people give them rides and sorry, I can't help you. And it's hard. Lennis Bailey says paying so much at the pump has her thinking. I think I'm going to have to get a job working from home. I'm serious because it's a lot. Um, I've never, I never thought I'd see it get this high. And those high prices are likely going to rise as Indiana raises its gas tax once again. Now Bailey and many others are making cuts to summertime budgets. Cut back on food, um, definitely uh, cut back on entertainment, a lot of different things. If I had to cut back on uh, food, I've had to cut back on clothing. I've had to consider if I were to have a issue with uh, maintenance on my car. I just have to consider my savings, uh, everything. Going to a lot of festivals and fairs around in the summertime, I don't see myself being able to do that. Gas to travel, um, it could be two or three counties away, or money to spend on food and all the other things you buy. Hoosiers now pay 62 cents per gallon in taxes at the pump. That's up from June's record high, 56 cents a gallon. So where does that 62 cent tax come from? Indiana actually has two taxes on gasoline. The first is a tax directed to infrastructure projects. The road projects tax was at 32 cents. That went up another one cent as of today. The second tax is a 7% sales tax. That's calculated out monthly and as of July 1st, went up to 29 cents. And if that sales tax on gas sounds high, it's because it is. The 29 cent sales tax went up five cents just from a month ago. And that's nearly triple the rate it was two years ago in July of 2020. The state reporting then it was only 10 cents. That's leaving drivers paying more at the pump at a time when gas prices overall are already sky high over the war between Russia and Ukraine. Until that crisis is over, I think uh, it's, it's going to stay high. With Hoosiers feeling the pinch at the pump, Bailey says she wants to see lawmakers cut down on these rising gas taxes, giving drivers some needed relief. Please lower the tax on the gas. We can need it bad. Everybody does. Please. <laughs> She's saying please. Hoosiers are expected to get another automatic tax refund from the state to help with rising costs. But that additional $225 still needs approval from lawmakers during their special session, which was postponed to July 25th.